A curriculum is a document that outlines the contents to be taught to trainees to help them meet a given training objective. Uh, it also specifies how and when these contents are to be acquired and how their acquisition is to be assessed. The two curricula that we have developed within the Train to Validate project uh, match the two skills cards that have been created by the project partners in the first part of the project itself. It does so by organizing the contents of the skills cards into teaching units uh, that are further uh, subdivided into elements and specific learning outcomes. This means that the skills cards are incorporated in the curriculum, which uh, explains how skills are to be learned, which training materials are to be used to learn them, and what are the assessment tools to be used to make sure that these skills are acquired. Our curricula also um, attribute each of the skills uh, a given number of academic or vocational credits, which basically tell trainers how worth uh, a given skill is or how much effort or, and resources are to be dedicated to acquiring each knowledge, competence or attitude. The attribution of credits to a skill is based on uh, the time trainees are expected to spend on that specific skill to acquire it. To understand this, we have consulted professionals in the field, among which our project partners, and tried to design the bigger picture. Because each, each credit is worth 25 to 30 hours, including classwork and homework, we have then translated the expected time needed to acquire a skill into a given number of credits. The whole course is worth 30 credits, which corresponds to an academic semester according to the European Credit Transfer and Accumulation System, or ECTS. Well, there are three main novelties in our curricula. To begin with, they are the first curricular training validators and facilitators in a structured manner. So, in this sense, they are the first novelty. Another important innovation is the use of the Pedagogical and Methodological Curriculum, or PMC, uh, as a theoretical framework to design this curricula. The PMC had already proved perfectly, perfectly uh, in line in similar fields, and uh, we are sure this will also be the case in ours. Finally, we have used the FAME criteria to design them, which have already proved successful in other curricula. Uh, this guarantees that the training materials, um, that the training in general, is feasible, adaptable, modular, and effective, thus complying to the EU requirements for training. Because they are based on the skills cards created by professionals and have been designed by professional trainers who have strictly co collaborated with these professionals, we are sure the curricula will meet the goal of training professional validators and facilitators. They contribute to the professionalization in the field because they are likely to standardize training by providing high quality training materials suitable for certification. 